You are looking at a north side community along the Chicago River that used to be a public housing complex called the Julia C. Lathrop Homes. It's a beautiful location filled with some rundown buildings. Vacant eyesores waiting years to be redeveloped. CBS 2's Lauren Victory asks for and delivers the latest on the Lathrop. Diversity Avenue splits the Lathrop community down the middle. Two different sections that feel like two different worlds. The north area of this complex features hundreds of renovated mixed income apartments, a river walk, and a dog park. The south section, well. It's ghetto. It's totally ghetto. See the building the way it is now is just really disheartening. Really, really disheartening. JL Gross. What? showed the CBS2 investigators his living conditions at Lathrop in 2016, back when it was all public housing. Chipping paint, rotting walls, bubbles of you don't want to know. One, two, three. In 2017, the Chicago Housing Authority, or CHA, alongside developers, broke ground on a huge project to renovate all of Lathrop. By 2019, Gross was able to move into a newly rehabbed unit like this on the community's north side. I really can't complain about the apartment. But he and others do complain about progress on Lathrop's south side, the side he used to call home. Multiple vacant buildings have sat for years with busted windows, boarded up doorways, and graffiti. High, low, outside, even inside. How often do you go over to your old, old stomping grounds? I don't. Why not? There's nothing there. There's quite literally nothing there. Why does it look like this in 2024? In the CHA press release from six and a half years ago, there's a reference to nearly a decade and a half of delay. Do the math, and that means it's now been 20 plus years of waiting for redevelopment. Keep your promise. Stop the stop. The pace of construction is drawing ire at this 2022 protest and more recently on the Preserve Lathrop Homes Facebook page. It's criticism a CHA official we spoke with seemed to understand. That higher up told us they'd love to be done with Lathrop, but figuring out a funding formula that includes historic tax credits is gumming up the next steps. But finally, CHA is scheduled to vote on financing for the complex this week. How often are you asking management for an update? Every time they have a meeting. <laughs> More answers are on the horizon, CHA tells us, going so far as to say an updated site plan could be shared this spring. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. News of a plan is exciting for residents, but years of waiting has taken a toll. CBS 2 found the vacant buildings in the complex are a breeding ground for crime. At 10, we show you how easy it is for someone looking for trouble to access the abandoned property.